Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. One-way function and a trapdoor function are used quite often in modern cryptography. Today, I will talk about these two types of functions. First, let's see two examples. The first example is a smoothie making. If you give me a random amount of grape, orange, and strawberry, I can put them into a blender and easily get you a cup of smoothies. You must excuse me, in my animation, it looks more like a cup of fruit juice than a cup of smoothies. Haha. <laughs> But let's assume it's a cup of smoothies. However, if you give me the cup of smoothies, it's very hard, almost impossible for me to know how many different fruits are mixed and the exact amount of each fruit used to get the cup of smoothies. In the second example, color mixing. If you give me any three different colors like blue, yellow, and red, and let me randomly mix them, I can easily get a mixed color, whatever color it is. However, the opposite directions would be impossible. If you give me the mixed color, you want me to guess how many different colors and the exact amount of each color are used to get that mixed color, it would be very difficult or practically impossible. These two examples demonstrate the idea how a one-way function works. It's easy to get an output giving an input, but it's hard or practically impossible to know the input from the output. By definition, one-way function is a function that is easy to compute in one direction but is extremely difficult to compute in the opposite direction or finding its inverse. In math, we say giving x is easy to compute fx but is practically impossible to find its inverse. Examples of one-way functions include prime factorization, discrete exponential, discrete logarithm problem, and secure hash functions. Here is a simple prime factorization example. If you give me two prime numbers, p and q, I can easily compute their product. But if you give me the product of P and Q is this big number, you ask me what two prime numbers P and Q are, is not easy. And if the product is much, much larger, in, in, actually in, in practice, the problem becomes more difficult. Trapdoor function. A trapdoor function is a special case or a subset of one-way functions. A trapdoor function is a one-way function. It's easy to compute in one direction, but it's difficult to find its inverse, except that with a secret giving, it's easy to find its inverse. The secret is also known as trapdoor information, T. We use the letter T to represent the secret. The analogy to the trapdoor is something like this. It's easy to fall through a trapdoor, but it's very difficult to climb back out unless you have a ladder. The ladder is the secret in this analogy. Using the same example above, if given two prime numbers P and Q, it's easy to compute their product, no problem. But given 
their product, this big number, is hard to find prime numbers p and q. That's one way function. However, if p or q is known, it's also easy to find the other prime number. Trapdoor functions are widely used in public key cryptography. It enables anyone to encrypt a message which may only be decrypted by the one who has the private key. RSA crypto system uses the trapdoor function and a detour signature uses trapdoor functions. As we study more about the public key algorithms, you will see more uses of trapdoor functions. One way functions and the trapdoor functions play a very important role in the public key algorithm. And they are the fundamental building blocks of our modern cryptography. I hope this video is helpful. Thank you very much and see you next time.